Hello, it's Rusty Smith with Record, Mix, Repeat. So I got the new Studio One version 6, and I found the thing that I really like the most in there is that new lyric track that they have, and I'm going to show you how to use it real quick here. Okay, so here we are in Studio One with a song I got called Better Than Ever, and uh, I'm going to show you how uh, to write lyrics and get them in the timeline, and uh, so you don't have to have them on a piece of paper or on another screen with another piece of software. This is really a great feature that they've added. So you find the lyric thing, it's up there in these other tracks like the Ruler and the Arranger. It's just highlight lyric and there it is. And so here's your track here. It has two modes, global and one that you can put on different instrument tracks. I'm using it in global to uh, write the lyrics and to cue myself to sing the lyrics. So here we go. If you click on this L right here, you get this lyrics display track here, which enables you to write the lyrics and get cued by the lyrics. And you have a few features that you can deal with here. So this is the edit button. You can't do anything until you hit that. Then you can type in your lyrics. All right, so first first lyrics, here we go. Now, I'm going to hit return. The reason I'm going to do that, the beginning of a line is what you place in the track in time. So that way you get cued at the right time. So you don't want to write a, a whole verse because it's not going to line up. You're not going to have the resolution to line it up the way you want to line it up. So I do it line by line. And here's the next one. I want be so cold to be cued at the right time. So I have basically three cue points now, all right? Want this to be cued? Oh, so sad, I think. So there's our first verse. Now, up here on the timeline, we zoom out. We see that all the words are over here starting at the very beginning, but that's not where they belong in the timeline. So I'm going to grab all this stuff. And this is very intuitive. I really like the way they did this. I'm going to drag it down this way. Verse 1, don't like the way you've been treating me. There it is, okay? So if I drag this way over here, get it out of the way, and then I just drag the first line, it's going to start where I want it to. I don't think it's right the way you're treating me. I told my best friend, so told my best friend, it's going to start at 24. Drag this down this way, zoom in. Doesn't matter if it even overlaps on the timeline, because that's not what's going to cue you. I told my best friend, but I don't believe you could be. So B is a 25. We're going to drag this over to 25. Just drag it over there, because you know that's where that was 26. Wait a second. I told my best friend, but I don't believe you could be. Okay, 26. So. Okay, the next line is going to start at 30. We did everything that was good we had. But took me by surprise starts at 32. Just grab that line, drag it over to 32. Took me by surprise, but it made me feel. Oh, oh, starts at 34. Okay, oh, so sad. So it doesn't matter that it looks all cluttered and ginky up here. What counts is this over here. The fact that it cues you at the right time. So check this out. So here we go. I don't think a right that you're treating me. I told my best friend, but he don't believe you can be. So you notice they're all hitting a little late. There's a really cool feature they got here called a head. And you can give this like a quarter a head. Let's put that in there, a little offset in there. So check it out. I don't think it's right the way you're treating me. Told my best friend, but I don't believe you could be so cold. Taking everything that was good we had, took me by surprise and it made me feel oh. So this is like karaoke almost. See, it's like the bouncing ball. It's a very cool thing, a very cool feature. And it wasn't difficult to drag into the right place. You got this feature here that offsets it so you get cued properly. That's a very cool thing about this. So now it's time for the chorus. 
So we go back into edit mode over here, and I'll give I'll hit return twice to give myself a little bit more space here. So I'm going to type in the chorus words now. Okay, so there's our chorus right here, and boom, here's the words right here. So you just grab the first thing. You don't have to, you don't have to do anything fancy. If you grab the first one, it's going to take everything behind it downstream as well. Then you can grab that first one, bring it over here where it starts. Okay. Don't turn me down. I need starts at 40, so we're going to drag I need... There. I need your love. Don't make. Here we go. Boom. 42. I need your love. Don't make me pay. Oh, please. Mistakes starts here at 46. Mistakes that I made. 48. You really weren't so bad. Can't you see? I think that starts in the right place anyway. So bad, can't you see? We could be better than better than ever is down here. Can't you see? We could be better than ever and more. So let's see how the how the queuing works now. Here we are at the chorus. Let's take a look at the queuing. Don't turn me down. I need your love. Don't make me beg. Mistakes that I made, they really weren't that bad. Can't you see we could be better than ever and more? So there it is. Very cool the way this works. Really impressed with it, gotta tell you. The first chorus and the second chorus have the exact same words in them, okay? So the easiest way I found to do this was to grab on this line here, on the timeline, the lyrics, copy them, zoom out, go up to where those words will start, and then paste. And sure enough, look at this, they're in the right place. Don't turn me down. Even here, check it out over here. Don't turn me down. I need your love. Don't make me beg, oh please. Mistakes that I made really weren't that bad. Can't you see we could be better? So there you go. So it's awesome. This, this is one of the coolest features that I think that Studio One has ever come up with, honestly. Cool thing about this is you can edit your lyrics as you go, right? Like right here, I want to change this to, uh, instead of stay so cold, how about B? We'll say, we'll say B instead of stay, right? So you just type in B, get out of edit mode, and sure. There it is, it's done. And of course, the one thing you could do here is uh, if you want to print your lyrics out for someone else, or if you ever need to, or for yourself, you simply just go into edit mode and so select all, and then copy. Go to your favorite text or Word document kind of stuff, and just paste it in, and boom, there you got it. Ooh, there's a little weird thing you don't want, but there it is, and you can Boom. Hey, there's my lyrics that I wrote in my Studio One software, but I can use in other software or do whatever I need to do. Hope that helped you out. If you do have Studio One 6, it's a lot of fun. Have a good day. I'm Rusty Smith with Record, Mix, Repeat.